Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmed, and in this tutorial, we are learning about that how to retrieve data from a database and fill a combo box with that data. So for this purpose, we will take a combo box that is it is our combo box. Okay, now come here and just write another method that is we will comment this uh, method as update combo box and write code for that that is private void and uh, I will name it as update sorry update combo and uh, right here tag string sql equal to uh, select all from users so it is our table name that is this is our table it includes these six fields and uh, come here okay now take a try catch block in try catch block uh, you have to write PST equal to con dot prepare statement now R is equal to PST dot execute query and it is now having this query executed so we will take a while loop and in while that is rs dot next so as long as this condition becomes uh, true uh, it will take this uh, body to execute and it is j combo box 2 let me take variable name j combo box 2 that is copy this name fine paste it and write add item okay and in here write rs dot get string and write here the column name from which you want to fill this combo box so let me show you first I would like to take uh, f name F name and let's execute this file this uh, file shift f6 okay what's wrong so we have not added this method to the container to, to the constructor sorry so now run the file shift f6 So you can see it is now added dynamically from the database okay similarly if you want to take another field just write here the field name that is now ID so shift F6 and it's run running and you can see all the IDs which are in the table in this column are in here in the combo box now i would like to uh, remove the default values in the combo box so come here and click combo box come to properties and in front of model click the option button and select all these press f backspace button click ok and now execute the file shift f6 and you can see the default values are now gone so this was about this tutorial and we will be learning about more stuffs in the next tutorials please stay tuned and read comment and subscribe my channel leave your comments uh, thanks for now